What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do another Transformers review. Hey, is Chachi Power becoming a Transformers reviewer? This is like his 900th Transformer review. Uh, I guess, uh, if I'm reviewing Transformers, I guess I'm a Transformer reviewer. Uh, can't knock them. The best bang for the buck out there if you like robots. Uh, so I'm in a little bit of a dry spot when it comes to high-end Chogokin die-cast robots. So uh, I get my fix in between with cheap robots. Uh, and this set is actually very cheap. Uh, I picked this up, uh, where did I get it from? HasboroToyShop.com uh, uh, 30 bucks. Now, 30 bucks to some may be a lot of money, but if you think about it, there's uh, two deluxe size figures and two Legends size figures there. So we got uh, we got Motor Breath, we got Autobot Jazz with uh, I believe it's a G2 coloring. It wasn't very big on G2. We got Combat Hero Optimus Prime and Thundercracker. So let's do some math, shall we? Uh, your typical deluxe nowadays goes anywhere from uh, what uh, 15 bucks to 18 dollars, depending where you go, maybe even more. So let's just say 15. That's about average. So you got two. $15 figures right there's your 30 bucks then you got two more figures here which are around six bucks um, at Toys R Us so it's a pretty good deal you get a nice deluxe packaging thing going on there pretty cool and uh, it's the ultimate gift set as it says right up here I don't know if it's the ultimate but it's pretty darn cool and you got Optimus Prime there which is a pretty shit figure in my opinion but um you get the robot modes right here on this side of all the guys. You get tech specs on the back for all four. Very nicely done there. And just Transformers Generations right there. So we're going to open this up, check the guys out, see what you think. Now when you take them out of the box, you will see that uh, in between the backing um, cardboard piece that goes behind this, you know, to do the background so it looks cool. Uh, in between that and the outer box you will find the instructions for only two out of the four because uh, you know Hasbro assumes that everybody can transform these Legends class which I hope most people can it's pretty straightforward but obviously these you may need help with so they do have the instruction booklets so what I'm gonna do is pop these guys off of these annoying uh, twist fest here and then we'll get started so let's go ahead and start that and yes I am one of the idiots that actually tries to undo these, but I've found the trick. And if you want to know what it is, if you just try and push it in, it's not going to work. What you want to do is twist them where they get really tight, and then they just unloop rather easily. So this is in case you guys want to ever put them back. You know, you don't have to cut that. And I know it's annoying. When you try and push, you'll see here they unravel like that. You're, you can't push anywhere like that. you got to tighten it and then push. Look at that. See that? See how easy that works? So just a little tip for you guys. All right, makes everything a lot smoother. So just give me a moment to do the rest and I will be get back to you. And here they are out of the box. We got Jazz, we got Prime, we got Thundercracker and Motor Breath. A good array of uh, different colors. You got the uh, 80s style coloring on Jazz there. You got some darker colors on here. There's a, a lot of colors on this Prime. There's grays, there's uh, like dark greenish blues, there's purples or shades of purple, I don't know. Uh, reds, blacks, orange. So a lot of colors going on there. Then you got plain old Thundercracker here. Very minimal paint apps on the front. No uh, stripes or anything unless you look on the back here. Has beautiful Decepticon logos. And then we got Motor Breath. This is my first time having this mold. Uh, very cool. I like it. I like the way the feet are angled to keep the stance here wide. And take a look around. You'll see the sword there on his back. So these are how they come right out of the box. Oh, and check out cool little Decepticon faction logos there. I like when they're done like that instead of having them be like the one color like Jazz has on his hood. Um, so yeah, how do we start here? Why don't we start with the small guys first? We'll start with Thundercracker since uh, he had a very recent uh, masterpiece release. So we'll hold these guys off to the side here. So here's Thundercracker. So, um, yeah, Thundercracker. 
uh, molded in blue. It's a nice dark blue. Uh, got some paint apps here on the arms, gray. Got the gold uh, cockpit area here. Got the dark feet here. And if we take a look at the face, he happens to have that little smirk there. Right, like uh, Starscream there, and the head is painted black. If we turn them around, you'll see some beautiful, beautiful faction logos and the red striping out back. Now, Thundercracker doesn't come with instructions like I mentioned previously, so uh, that means he's easy to transform, right? Uh, but except it's actually pretty clever, guys. If none of you have this mold, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. If you do have the mold, you already know. It's pretty much backwards. You'll see the cockpit area here. You're not going to use that to actually make the notes. Because if I turn this around, bring this out, you'll see there's a cockpit there, which is actually here, yet they don't use this to make that here. I don't know. But yeah, you can also make him a cone head if you want. All right, so uh, transformation. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Um, so as I was saying, pretty clever, because you'll see here the blasters on his arms, what they become. And what the legs become, which is probably backwards if you're not familiar with this mold from what you're normally used to. So, what we're going to do first, bring the uh, this nose piece out like so. Alright, make sure the face is looking down. Bring the arms up and back, and you'll see the arms are the ones that are forming the boosters out back, not the legs. All right. And then the blasters on the arm actually come around and cover this part here, which that's what I mean by clever. It's actually really nicely done. Then this comes out like that on the legs. And the legs come around and they do tab on the wings. So you just want to find the tab hole there, pop them in. Do the same with the other side, obviously. Keep it symmetrical. And then you want these real blasters to go underneath like so all right so uh, simple but uh, for something as small it's actually really clever so I thought it was very nicely done and it actually really looks cool in jet mode you'll see it looks really nice the bottom and eh, not so much it's got legs just hanging out right here instead of the legs being here that's the actual arms so uh, but overall well done Thundercracker and next we have Motor Breath, just like the Metallica song, which I would love to play while I review this guy, but they would just kick my video off like they usually do. And yeah, Motor Breath. Uh, this is a, I believe it's a remold of the Reveal the Shield Optimus Prime. I don't know because I don't have it. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so, yeah, so Motor Breath is just a black Optimus Prime with purple windows. All right, and he's got the little sword here. All right, nice plastic. The legs are painted gray. This is not actually gray plastic, all right, which causes a little bit of a problem during transformation. Not a big deal. I'll show you guys how to get around that. So uh, to start off with, uh, remove the sword and just let you take a look around. You'll see some uh, truck bits there, which is like, I thought the truck bits were up front. So what they've done to keep this, the waist, uh, Athletic and have the abs uh, without looking too trucky is just hide the bits back here, unlike the G1. Uh, but it's a very G1 type transformation, so we're going to check that out. Uh, what you want to do is spin this around, right? Now it's looking more like a truck, right? This is what the G1 Optimus Prime would look like. What you want to do is bring the legs back, fold them up, and where the paint causes a bit of a problem is this tab. Uh, since it's painted, it's a little thicker than it should be to go in here. And this also has paint on it, so the tab, you have to be very careful because it's very easy to mess up and snap it from what I've seen. So that just tabs right in. The, they don't really line up perfect. I don't know, it's kind of weird. The, the wheels are parallel to each other, just the way the legs are here, not so much. Then the head goes down, hides right there. Uh, and then this is the very G1 part where the shoulders go back, arms go in on the side. Exact same thing on the other side. Then snap everything together. And you have motor breath in truck mode, which looks really cool. I'm um, actually liking it a lot. And you got the 
purple fuel tanks and you can put this weapon right up top like that and he rolls okay just the top wheels here don't roll just the fronts and the very backs all right so that's motor breath we're gonna move on to the deluxe sizes now all right so we got jazz here in his g2 repaint uh, so we're gonna go ahead and show you this guy even though you've probably seen him a million times I just reviewed the wheelie deluxe figure so it's pretty much still fresh in my mind this is all around what he looks like generous paint apps on this guy unlike the original reveal the shield jazz which had very minimal paint apps aside from the stripes but this actually has tail lights right there you'll see them uh, so yeah jazz typical articulation very nice so yeah most of you are already uh, familiar with the articulation but I'll go over it really quick got the arms and I've noticed uh, on my reveal the shield jazz the arms just flop around everywhere I don't know if that's an issue with everybody's but uh, the wheelie and this one they're really nice and tight so I don't know if they've updated the molds but um, yeah I'm glad they did if they did but yeah tighter so you got the waist here you got the legs that go out you got the thigh swivel the knees and the feet so just regular standard stuff that you find in all the other molds of this figure then he's also got those speaker weapons back here which just unfold and come around like this and then they just chill out so now we're just gonna go ahead and transform him I originally wasn't gonna do it but in case you haven't seen the other 9,000 videos out there uh, very simple very cool transformation but uh, it is relatively easy fold the feet in right here as you bring this around make sure these shin pieces are not getting in the way when you go to spin that because they tend to do that uh, spin that like that then uh, you'll form the back half all right do the same with the other one make sure shins out of the way fold it around these two pieces tab together make sure the spoiler also tabs in together because it does move bring this here to clear it and just like that all right then the arms there's a tab here on the hood pieces you want to make sure they kind of interlocked as you bring the arms down you'll see they're starting to interlock there and you'll see how they are right there make sure they're lined up bring the arms in on the sides here close the doors line everything up and then just fold the back half in and make sure everything just snaps together nicely now one of the things I didn't immediately notice was the fact that his uh, rims are actually painted silver and he's got this staggered uh, different size wheel setup uh, which I used to do to my race cars I found that having smaller wheels up front really helped me uh, with steering not that you guys care about that stuff but anyway uh, yeah so uh, generous paint jobs again uh, I don't know if I fancy these colors but it does look nice on this mold and the um, speaking of the mold the plastic is molded very shiny even the paint job up here looks really good and matches the white of the actual paint so there you go you get the grill, grills painted and you get the little clear blue headlights and fog lights clear blue windows painted rims again I love that um, kind of cheesy to just say jazz there on the side but at least it has uh, tail lights now unlike wheelie who has window paint apps back here this one does not uh, but then again he does say jazz there I think it looks cheesy and you got the orange Autobot logo with the cheesy little stripes going on here but that's jazz uh, great mold guys I love this mold I can't get enough of this mold you can give me 10,000 colors and I'll buy them all and next we have combat hero Optimus Prime it's already past my bedtime so let's get this over with guys uh, combat hero Optimus Prime again lots of different colors going on and somehow yet yeah, it looks good if I try and pull this off wearing different colored ties and shirts and pants can't look this good uh, this is a mold that had to grow on me originally because I didn't like it I didn't like this whole shoulder action I didn't like these pointy feet I didn't like the fact that there was a hundred different colors and yet somehow I'm drawn towards this one I don't know what's going on it's a transformer sickness but uh, he's got the uh, 
clear plastic sword here with the black plastic handle. I did talk about the colors a bit. You'll see this uh, G2 style faction logo, if I'm not mistaken, it's G2. Don't follow G2. Look around back here. Wheels and wheels. All right. So, uh, yeah, the sculpt, not too bad. You can obviously tell it's Optimus Prime. Articulation, we got uh, the ball jointed head. It does uh, move fairly well. And it does have the neck pivot there, which is cool. You do got the arms that go like this. Limited movement, but they do go around a f very fair amount. In fact, 360 if you want. All right. And you got the arms coming out this way. You got the elbows on the swivel. And you got the arms. And you got the hands here on a ball joint, which is nice. All right. Waist, you do have. All right. Uh, the legs, ball joints come out a certain amount. And you have the thigh swivel. You get the knee there, uh, which is kind of hindered by the uh, clearance in between the two tires. And then you have the pointy feet that are also on a ball joint. So just take a second and look at that again. And then we're going to get right into the transformation and show you his vehicle mode. Now, since I've only transformed my Reveal the Shield version of this guy once, I have no clue what's going on. So I will need the aid of my trusty instructions here. Uh, let's look for changing to vehicle. All right, bunch of stuff, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, matter of fact, I got lots of instructions everywhere. Kind of need them. Getting old there, buddy. All right, so we are gonna start by removing his sword. Don't need that for the transformation. We are gonna turn these uh, arms this way, have them like that. We are going to apparently push that up, pull out the wheels like that. All right, this whole section drops back here, and the head comes around like that. Then the wheels are going to rotate on this little bar there. This goes around the same thing with the bottom. They come around the other side, that rotates, and this one rotates also. Then the door panels from the inside, you're going to want to push them out like that to form red maroon windows. All right, like that. And we'll take a moment and hide the head right up here. And the shoulders are just simply going to form the front of the truck. Snap that together like that. Bring these panels up. Then reach up into his crotch. Open these panels up. All right, do the same on both sides. And then make sure these things are out of the way like that and then continue on here there's going to be two more pieces here that you got to fold out and then you want to grab the sword here which is going to transform a bit uh, so that you can fit him onto uh, the back here so snaps out like that comes to the front then this folds down then see these little tabs that stick out of the side of the sword they're going to go right in these pieces here so essentially you're just going to stab his crotch as you do this so and then close that right around and then you'll see it forms this piece for the uh, trailer I forgot what that's called the hitch or whatever I don't know what the hell it's called then just tap everything nice and firmly grab this little red piece bring it down and you'll see those little two tabs are just going to go right into the leg parts there right, like that all right, and then these panels just go right on the sides here. And I forgot to do the feet, but uh, they just clip right in there like that. Just push them forward. Just make sure you realign everything. This has a tendency not to want to stay together. Fold these up like that. And then just continue to just make sure everything just snaps in together. And there you are. Combat Hero Optimus Prime. You'll notice uh, these things aren't really lining up. It's probably just me not having done something right, but it looks pretty cool. So we are going to put all of these guys together here so we can say goodbye. So this has been a review of the Hasbro Ultimate gift set available online or wherever you guys buy toys from. But 30 bucks right now if you go on Hasbro Toy Shop. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm completely tired, so I'm calling it a night right now. I've done, like, ten reviews. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. A lot of stuff coming up.
And until next time, guys, bye-bye.